All right, here we are, 2020, and we're at the Jake Tom Family Enduro. This is uh, my daughter's first year doing the adult class, and she's getting older. Um, and uh, so she's kind of being challenged a bit more, which is pretty good. I like it. She's actually starting to do well and gaining more confidence throughout this whole process. So this year's 2020 Jake Tom Family Enduro was worth every single penny we paid for it. I think they hands down this has been the best race family enduro race we've ever raced to, up to, to up to this point but before we get into the race here um, I just wanted to take a second to uh, do a shout out to everybody who's who actually came up to us during the race and said you know to basically talk to us and thank us for doing these videos and mentioned there's a few people out there that mentioned that uh, you know, these videos are the reason they came to these events. Uh, hearing stuff like that means a lot to us. I mean, we started these videos because they're just fun to do and wanted to document our experience. But this is, that means a lot to us seeing that we're making an impact on some people and helping to grow the sport. Um, these events though, these events though, they're just a product of a great sport with nothing but great people in here. All we're doing is getting out there and documenting it. All right, so let's talk about the race a little bit this year. Um, and as you get into it, you'll kind of see why we, and I'll kind of give you at the end of this, why we think this was the hands down the best Enduro we've done so far to date. Uh, this one was 4.5, this one had a 4.5 mile loop. There are four loops total, and it was a restart format. Not a big deal. It seems kind of short, but, um, you know, just under 20 miles, that's really not that bad. The, when we get into the race, they had this probably the most memorable part to us is this is the most flowing trail that we've been on so far there are actually a lot of fun technical hills in here which <laughs> that first loop we're sitting there going through all these hills going man this is a lot of fun these hills are a blast some of them you come up to and they look kind of technical and scary but once you hit them they're not everybody got up them any hill that would have any have any kind of potential of an issue for somebody they had staff members at all of them and I personally didn't see anybody have any problems with any of these hills. And if you ride, if you love riding dirt bikes, who doesn't go on, love going up and down really fun hills? I mean, that's just that's just in the blood of a dirt biker. So um, this course also had a lot of some more unique stuff. So they had a nice little grass track out there. Um, didn't do too much of it, so it wasn't overkill. They had a nice creek bed you'd ran, run through, but the most noticeable thing and I don't know how to put all this in words is the flow of the trail it was an extremely enjoyable flow on this trail this whole time and I think that is what helps top this off um, my daughter she was you know she's still kind of getting used to the longer races too since she's doing the adult classes and this was a huge confidence builder for her I mean after the race she's talked about how fun it was she it's like, hey, I, I feel like I'm getting a lot better. She's did all those hills without a problem, and she's made it throughout the race without a problem. Um, and in the day, that's what this is about, just growing. And this, these guys did a fantastic job. So all in all, I think the reason this was probably the best enduro we've done, family enduro we've done so far, is I felt like it was just the right equation of length, versus difficulty versus flow because um, at the end of the day we're teaching people go to these to learn how to race and you're learning the races you're learning the race formats you you want to keep coming back to these and um i know i was talking to some of the guys afterwards one of the guys uh it was, he was his uh him and his son are out there and it was their first time doing a family enduro he said his son afterwards after the race was just asking him when's the next enduro i mean that's that's when you know you've met a successful race is when the kid asks and, and is looking forward to the next enduro so you know hey kudos to uh to the hawking valley motorcycle club you guys did a fantastic job this year and exceeded our expectation um anybody who wants to go check out the next one and we'll be out there on um October 18th at Camp Catfell for the next Family Enduro. From what I understand, the format, the length, and everything is pretty close to what this one was. So, hope to see a lot of you guys out there.